Customer segmentation, one of the most underrated Shopify tools. Often overlooked by small stores, this feature allows you to personalize your customer engagement by creating customer groups, a necessary foundation for your marketing strategy. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Advertising is getting more and more expensive. Social ad costs are only increasing and return on ads is not getting any better. Right now, one of the best ways that e-commerce companies can grow their business is by using their customer data. Data collected from customers that have already purchased, customers that just filled up a form, or even opting into email marketing through a chat on your website. That customer data is gold. The trick is turning that gold into a real treasure, sales. In this video, I'm going to break down some high converting examples of segments that work and that you can build in just a few clicks in Shopify's segment editor and that can be used in your email and discount strategies. So let's get started in three, two, one. All right, so to access segmentation, you have to go to your Shopify backend and click on customers. And this little box right here, this is segmentation. For the first example, we're gonna use current events because Black Friday was just a couple days ago and I want to send an email to everybody that abandoned the checkout but didn't buy during those last seven days. So it will encompass, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So to do that, we just click here anywhere on this text box and we choose abandon checkout date in the last seven days and last order date doesn't exist, so it's null. Basically, it's gonna check that the abandoned checkout date was in the past seven days and that the customer has not ordered. Okay, so let's click apply. And these are the people that abandoned the checkout in those days. So the next step is to save the segment. We'll give it a name, Black Friday Abandoned Checkout 2022. We'll click on save. And now we can use this segment. So when we click on that, we have two options. We can either send them an email or we can give them a discount. If you click on send email, you can see that it's gonna send to the segment that you just created. Now for the next example, we're gonna do something super cool because we're gonna create a group of high value customers. Shopify actually has an algorithm that calculates a predicted high lifetime value group and you can build a segment based on that group your VIP customers. This one is gonna be super simple because we're gonna use a template. So just go over here and click on explore templates. Now we're gonna choose on engage high value customers. And you have a few options. For example, high spend customers who purchase products with a specific tag or engage high value, high intent customers. And you can preview the conditions that is gonna apply, right? But we're not gonna go for that. We're not gonna go for high spend customers with a recent purchase. No, 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 no. We're gonna go for customers who are likely to spend more at your store, okay? So here's the preview of what it will create. And let's use this template. Predicted spend tier is high. And of course you can, you know, change it to low or to medium. This is the Shopify algorithm, you know, just calculating stuff and predicting stuff. By the way, if you don't have Shopify yet, check out the link that I left in the description where you can get a free trial and also three months for only $1 per month. So let's apply that. And boom, we have 259 customers that are willing to spend all of their money on our store. So we can save the segment and send them an email with a coupon or with, I don't know, a new product, a subscription product base that we're selling, anything you want. Now, what if you wanted to target people with a specific product interest? Well, let's type product, choose product purchase, and we're gonna add the criteria product tag, and we're gonna put sweat activated which is one of the tags that I have on some of my products. And we're gonna say that the product was purchased. All right, so let's apply this filter. And it shows me that I have 6,116 customers that have purchased products with this tag. But let's go one step further. Let's say that there is an special event right here in Miami and I only wanna target people that live here. So we're gonna narrow it down a little bit more by adding an AND filter and we're gonna look for cities, customer cities, contains this exact city, and we're gonna put Miami. So let's apply the filter and boom, there's 47 people that live here in Miami that have purchased products with this specific tag. 
so I can save the segment and send them an email or a discount. But what if you don't have enough people to fill up these segments? Well, check out this video right here where I show you how to use Shopify Forms, the newest pop-up tool from Shopify. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I'm out.